Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathi watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. Right dried this is the version is you can see here 5.0 pixel and under security patches 5th August 2022 and version is 12.1 Surya 5.0 pixel. Kernel user is 4.14.190. Strong Baker kernel X15 has been used here August 28th. This is the latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC. Flashing method is very simple. I have flashed here MIUI 13.0.1 global firmware, not in global. EEA is still not available. The firmware links will be given in the community section very soon check out my channel and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes and 10 seconds and 6 milliseconds you can see here the maximum score is 142 and average is 137 and minimum is 98 million gips and it is throttled a little bit here you can see 89 percent of its max performance this is app review don't take it as general review for this particular rom it's not like that just for that couple of 10 minutes this was the cpu throttling but in actual it is not having that much throttle that's what i noticed in this particular testing and this is the settings panel settings panel is very very smooth you can see it's very responsive and wallpaper sound style you can see you won't get any wallpapers and basic colors wallpaper color dark theme themed icons is right now it's not in beta here that is a little bit different and upgrade you get 2 into 2 to up to 6 into 10 options are available and let me start with the dialer as you can see you will get this kind of basic dialer here and there is a direct video call feature available in this room there is a little bit of touch sensitivity delay it's not that much and recording call is available the other person will notice or not i don't know this is how the call recording and dialer you get and there is a camera application pre-installed here don't use that snapdragon camera i have installed arno build gcam here you can use this one the ultra wide angle also working fine in this particular one. and there is some where i heard that in telegram okay i heard that there is a nx camera support if you use the firmware 13.0.1 as i use here You'll get in the community section guys just flash the firmware and rom file and format that and reboot to system again i want to show you the flashing method i can involve in my videos most of them require told me that not required hence i am skipping that if you want i can definitely make it out that's not problem for me and safety net status it will get passed this is an unofficial build as of now taking yeah as you can see it's past you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use it's going to be work fine no problem regarding that benchmark results you can see app opening is quick enough but there is slight delay in touch response and you can see the score is 3 lakh 51 thousand 362 and temperature raise was 1.3 degrees celsius and two percentage of battery drop during this testing which is fine scores are one thing one side and actual performance is on the other side and gig bench scores you can see the single score is 508 and multi score is 1551 and strong beaker linux 4.14.190 kernel has been used here drm info yeah you can see there is a touch sensitivity or whatever it is l1 security you can watch all the OTT application in hd i mean high definition resolution that's not the problem there is a little bit of touch sensitivity issue i don't know why it is there and you get this audio effects which will be available in lineage os and even cr radar octave us i have seen that kind of audio effects it's quite a handy feature to have and fm radio is special google maps location everything is working fine let me move into settings here i don't feel the same issue touch responsiveness in the home home screen it's a little bit weird that you need to keep in mind coming to battery and battery usage you can check out here it's fine i even charged it using this 33 watt charger the 33 watt charger support is available why not i will show you it's currently over 90 percent let's see whether it shows or not you can see here your camera not getting focus okay you can see it slightly improves 
currently it's uh, 93 percent it's showing charging slowly whenever it is below 70 or 85 percent then it will show charging rapidly i tested it out guys no need to worry if you have 33 watt charger you can use that restored idle manager you can enable to get better battery life 24 hour battery usage you can check out if you want to get that and battery cycles and battery temperature battery optimization per app you can choose from here battery life is okay i can't say it's a great or even good also it's average battery life you get in this particular rom sounds and vibration you can see touch sensitivity issue is there here in this particular rom you guys can notice that and media volume plenty of volume settings are given here and me sound enhancer dirac sound settings you can choose the headphone type and preset and even the scene hi-fi sound is not given that's fine clear speaker option is given haptic feedback you can adjust the level of it as you can see this is also not working currently i don't know what all the bugs it have that's how it is the previous version was very good i don't know when i made a video on that rice thread this one a little bit laggy not laggy sensitivity issue is there and these are the customization you get about buttons you get plenty of customization you can see here lock screen also you get plenty of customization again and miscellaneous settings unlock high fps in games and unlimited photo storage and swipe to screenshot is given here you just enable that notifications you get plenty of customization again and uh, navigation also you get lot more customization and shortcuts sound panel you can choose here and panel timeout also you can adjust that status bar again logo you can enable you can position them you can customize them clock date status bar icons network traffic indicator plenty of things are given here you can check out customizations are next level here user interface everything is fine ambient display those things are given setting styles are given but i don't find pitch black condition let me enable dark theme and check out as you can see now i am in dark theme but it's not in pitch black condition as you can see it's applied the wallpaper themed section again go to customization or i will do one thing go to display settings here okay in the dark theme is there any option to force it to dark mode no that's the one thing if they can add that would be better in my opinion and let me know in the comment section guys how you like the dark theme it should be in pitch black condition or based upon wallpaper it need to change let me know in the comment section guys and wallpaper zoom effect is there locks in screen timeout is there extra dim battery level adaptive brightness is also working fine as you can see no problem regarding that and night light live feature and colors you can choose your rgb strength also you can adjust and as you can see i kept peak refresh rate to 120 and even minimum i will keep 120 low power refresh also 120 even after keeping 120 hertz it's still this one is smooth as you can see the recent apps that's not the problem but whenever i open the app drawer it's a little bit laggy it's in launcher maybe and even this settings panel if i go further here it takes a little bit of time and security options are here given face unlock and fingerprint unlock and encryption and credentials rom is encrypted by default let me show you the face unlock first you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock that's fine for me and even the fingerprint unlock it's also very very quick in my opinion there were people discussing about the fingerprint scan scanner speeds in telegram I hope I have given the answer as you can see again. This is a rice dried version 5.0 pixel. The fingerprint scanner is working fine. No problem regarding that. And there is a music application pre installed. If you have your old video music files, you can have it in that music player. Or if you want, you can use third party music player. And moving back into settings again privacy settings or android tools settings and accessibility menu is also given which is working fine which is a handy feature to have in android tool aosp based rooms without using the actual buttons you can actually use the perspective of that particular options whatever you want to have as a shortcuts and system here again system profiles is given into the gesture system navigation into settings pill length you can adjust and pill back gesture height also you can adjust that's the gesture there is a lot more options here you can check out pill length you can adjust and it is looking fine that's 
always complain in many of the rounds but that is not the case here and raised red lab is also given some of the things you can enable or disable from here background task freezer i don't want to enable it's already freezing why would i enable that okay thermal propels and grim mode here given as you can see taking a little bit of time to load everything in the settings panel and this home screen the whatever the launcher they used little bit of unresponsive i can say or delay in the response of touch sensitivity has been happening here apart from that everything is fine in this particular rom i don't recommend it to be as a daily driver previously i made a video on rice dread you can check out guys and i also played call of duty i don't want to show it out because i don't like it that much it's an average performing rom but anyone using it as a daily driver let me know in the comment section guys it's my view and my review of this pogo x3 rice dread 5.0 pixel for pogo x3 and we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now